modern day slavery, human trafficking, exploitation, would describe Anna's story told in first hand with the help of BBC in a broader report. She kind of resembled hope for me, says Anna, describing her reaction on stumbling across Torres' Instagram profile in 2017. Anna was not one of the missing women targeted in the FBI search, but she too was a victim of Torres' coercion that would be key to their rescue. She says she was attracted to Torres' trajectory from improvised Brazilian favela to international catwalks, partying with the Hollywood A-listers along the way. She seemed to like she had overcome violence and childhood abuse and traumatic experiences, Anna told BBC. Anna moved to New York to work as Kat Torres' live-in assistant in 2019. Anna was in a vulnerable situation herself. She says she had suffered a violent childhood, moved alone to the U.S. from southern Brazil, and was previously in an abusive relationship. Torres recently published her autobiography called A Voz, in which she claimed she could make predictions about spiritual powers. She had been interviewed by reputable Brazilian media shows. She was on the cover of magazines. She, see, she was seen as with famous people such as Leonardo DiCaprio. Everything I saw seemed credible, says Ana. She said she was particularly taken with Torres' approach to spirituality. And what Ana didn't know was that the inspirational story Torres told was based on half-truths and lies. Ana, Amanda, and other former followers say they found themselves becoming increasingly psychologically isolated from friends and family and willing to do anything for Torres. When Torres asked in 2019, Anna, move in with me to New York as a live-in assistant, Anna agreed. She had been studying nutrition at the University of Boston, but arranged to study online, and instead she had accepted an offer to work after Torres' animals and do her cooking, laundry, and cleaning for about 2000 a month. When she arrived at Torres' apartment, she quickly realized it did not match her curated perfection of the Instagram profile. It was shocking. The house was really messy, dirty, it smelled. And she and Anna says Torres seemed unable to do even the most basic things without her, taking a shower because she couldn't bear being alone. She describes having to constantly be available for Torres only to be allowed to sleep for a few hours at a time on a sofa covered in cat urine. She says some days she would hide in the apartment building's gym grabbing a few hours sleep rather than working out. Now I see that she was using me as a slave. She had satisfaction in it, Anna says. Anna says she was never paid. I felt like I'm stuck, I'm here. I don't have a way out, she says. I was probably one of the first victims of human trafficking. She had given up her university accommodations back in Boston, so she had nowhere to return to and no income to pay for alternate housing. Anna says when she tried to comfort Torres, she became aggressive, triggering Anna's painful history of domestic violence. Eventually, after three months, Anna found a way to escape, moving in with a boyfriend. But that wasn't the end of Ana's role in Torres' life with the families of two other young Brazilian women reported missing in September 2022, Ana knew she had to act. Listeners who are still with me, this is Tom Duty. I have extracted this and kind of uh, selected paragraphs because I wanted Ana's story to be extracted from a much broader report including the successful prosecution of, in the U.S., of Kat Torres. I wanted to cut that out and just tell Anna's story because Anna wasn't broken by this process. She emerged on the other side of this, being able to tell her story in a credible way. So if you ever wondered, as I have, 
How do people fall into these messes? How do they end up being imprisoned in a basement in the kind of sort of seems like their consent? It's not, they get tricked. And this is Anna getting in and getting out. Thanks for listening. Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. Modern day slavery, human trafficking, exploitation would describe Anna's story told in first hand with the help of BBC in a broader report. She kind of resembled hope for me, says Anna, describing her reaction on stumbling across Torres' Instagram profile in 2017. Anna was not one of the missing women targeted in the FBI search, but she too was a victim of Torres' coercion that would be key to their rescue. 